because they are. And Midfield Raceway. Whatever happened to Midfield Raceway? Why? Why did they get rid of Midfield, man? Love that place. It's, it's, my, it's my racetrack, man. It's, it's just a beautiful thing, man. Straight away, connected by like another straightaway with another straightaway with a little bit of chicane into a hairpin into another straightaway. Yeah, it's just fun. Thanks, game. Thanks. Volkswagen Lupo. Thanks. Thank you. It is worth nearly five grand to sell, though, so maybe it's not all that bad. And we can probably use it over here in the lightweight K Cup, get up to that 98 horsepower maximum, and we can totally beat on the competition. It's all about strategy and thinking through things, man. You don't have to grind in Gran Turismo if you know what you're doing. Except for Gran Turismo 5, because some idiot decided that you need to grind in Gran Turismo. Really. I, I, honestly, it just... Hey, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Gran Turismo 5 more than a lot of people out there. But they totally missed the plot. Totally missed the plot. Entirely. And I haven't driven here for a very long time. This almost looks like the real city of Seattle, which I've really never been to. And nothing says American Racetrack like a bunch of advertisements for British cars. Smooth move there, uh, Polyphony. Smooth move. Oh yeah, and advertisements for French cars that nobody has heard of. And I'm pretty sure don't even actually exist. Oh, silly double apex hairpin. That corner was a lot tighter. And I'm pretty sure the AI has, like, speed up effect enabled. Or I really have brought a howitzer to a gunfight, which, when you tend to get inside, like, you know, 50 feet, <laughs> artillery doesn't usually work the best. Oh, but we got straight away. We are going to let that rotary fly. Boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful if I say so myself. Highly intense race between a car with way too much horsepower and cars with way too little horsepower. Not sure which way around we have that, but it's definitely the truth. This game, though, definitely is one of the very few games out there that uh, starts, like, really difficult and then gets really super easy. At least in my opinion. Because for whatever reason, the race cars are actually less responsive than these early cars, which means they're a lot easier to go in a straight line, and you can actually, like, turn the, turn the wheels without going flying in one of 16 different directions as you go one way and then you try and correct to go the other way and then next thing you know you're way out of shape the rear end of the car is trying to pass the front end and <laughs> you're like how did I end up here what's going on should have called my car the march because I'm marching on to victory yet again time for another drink because that's what you do when you're the victor you drink stuff Cash money. Money in the bag. Money in the bag. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go check, see what we got, just in case we want to repeat that race. Probably off screen, you know. Just so you guys aren't subjected to it. Ooh, six grand. That puppy's going to sell for a pretty penny. Definitely going to go towards a better cause. Okay, we're sending it to the scrap heap because it's a Renault Clio. Seen enough of those in R Factor land. Don't want to see them in Gran Turismo land. 
But the secret is, <laughs> I know where to get a vehicle worth uh, a little bit more than that. Just a little bit. But uh, we're not going to abuse that one because it is easy to abuse. Because that just cheapen the experience. If there's one thing I'm all about, it is about expensive experiences. Very. So I'm playing with a controller on an emulator. You know, buying a PlayStation 1 or hooking up my PlayStation 1 wasn't good enough. No, I actually built this PC specifically for PlayStation emulation. It's the truth. It really was. You know, that's my number one cause. I just wanted to be able to play PlayStation games. Not on my PlayStation. Simple. It was. World's only $800 PlayStation 1. And this is where someone's going to say, Oh, but in 1993, the PlayStation 1 <laughs> prototype sold for $9,872. Or something absurdly silly, because it always happens. Because this is YouTube, and everybody on YouTube knows something that you don't. Don't forget it. Boy, that sounded awfully deep. Let me just rephrase that, so that way this sounds more epic. Son. This is YouTube. There's one thing I've learned about YouTube. Everybody else knows something that you don't. Don't forget it. There. Does that sound deep? Am I going to go down in like the history books for that? World's worst attempt at making an epic comment. Man, these freaking little hatchbacks are, are kind of scaring my RX-7 here. Kind of expected to just stomp them all over the place. Be like, you got mud on your face. Your cars are big disgraces because they're not Daihatsus. Therefore, totally not as cool. Nothing says Gran Turismo quite likes some Rob Zombie and an RX-7. I'm sure there's maybe like five RX-7 owners out there who would ever listen to Rob Zombie. Ever. I mean, seriously. How did that give that a run for its money? How? Not that bad of a driver, am I? I understand I'm not the best at Gran Turismo 2 anymore. I mean... It was that time I held the Gran Turismo 2 World Championship belt title uh, for Daihatsu TRXX Extreme Driving, uh, but uh, those days are long past me. I, I conceded the title back in. <laughs> Funny story about the Vits. I actually saw a guy driving around in a Toyota Yaris, which is what these cars are called in the United States. Um, just a different name, same car pretty much exactly as I understand it. And he totally decided to put Vitz stickers all over the place rather than Yaris stickers because the JDM is cool like that, yo. And uh, I just honestly had to laugh. <laughs> because just comical. It really was. So that's my cool story for the day. And uh, thank you guys for listening to that story. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope it made you feel as good as it did for me. Uh, you know, I, I hope I made you happy by hearing that story. And 424 horsepower Beetle. Do like. Golf cup? In a racing game? A golf cup. The golf cup. Okay. Is this like frickin' PGA Tour 2? Something? Ooh, let's see if we got a racing modification. We should have a racing modification. They race these things in the real world. Yeah! The Castrol Lupo! What is our limits? 98 horsepower? Oh, we are way over that, man. We totally crushed the competition. 
I tell you what, the Lupo is gonna be coming at you something fierce. <laughs> I spent four thousand dollars on a horsepower upgrades for the Daihatsu. I get fifty percent horsepower increase. I spend four thousand horsepower elsewhere. I get four percent horsepower increase. A little bit more power because I don't feel like actually like making an effort. But I just can't justify it, man. I can't justify spending this much money. And yes, I do check the displacement all the time just to see if there is a car that has displacement. I've seriously only seen like one car, and I think it's one of the Corvettes or something like that. Too much money. Clutch. Yeah, because that usually seems to speed up your shifting a little bit. And I know someone's going to like provide a statistical analysis about what the clutch in Gran Turismo 2 does specifically, and I'll be like, you have totally missed the boat, man. Racing flywheel. We're going racing, therefore we need a racing flywheel. Totally. That's how it works. It says racing, so that's what you buy it for. Okay, back to the lightweight K-Cup. We're going big. We're going for the $7,000 race. Because I like that money. Like that money a lot. The more money we get, the more skylines we acquire. Oh, yeah! Truth be told, I do like the skyline. Honestly. Especially the R33. It just looks brilliant. I have a thing for boxy looking cars, honestly. Oh yeah, you guys are totally mincemeat. The Lupo is going to run on you, what are you going to do about it? Still not no TRXX though. Needs a turbo for that. Wait, is this a... What kind of car is this? What's that badge supposed to say? On the right hand side there. Can't be no TDI because it res to like 6,000 RPM. Can't have no turbo re diesel revving that high, man. That's when someone's gonna say, well, the, the Audi and Peugeot LMP1 cars do. I'm ahead of you guys. Yeah. Oh god, BP is in Tahiti? Please, no, think of the fishies. Think of the beaches. Oh wait, we like nuked every island in the Pacific for testing purposes. Oops. I mean, hey, Russia, you know, blew up Siberia like 15,000 times over. Why can't we nuke every island in the Pacific? I mean, seems legit. You guys over in Australia and New Zealand should just consider yourself lucky that we ran out of places before we got to you. you know? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Totally not a funny topic, though. Very serious. Very serious, for sure. And I mean that. Seriously. That corner is so much fun, man. Just kind of launch on into it. pretty sure if you tried to drive this car like this in the real world, you would end up with terminal understeer into the guardrail and probably deploy the airbags. It's my uh, thorough analysis of the situation. Airbag replacement would not be cheap. This car, thankfully though, actually has a pretty speedy transmission it seems. I don't know if that's just the racing flywheel being all racing-like or what, but uh, I don't like it. I don't like waiting six years for my car to shift. Are you listening, Daihatsu? Where's your double-clutch transmission? Where? I want it. I want it. I want it bad. Oh, I can race the Daihatsu around here. 
Okay, guy named Fifth. What happened there? What happened? If you're gonna drive the TRX, you have got to drive the TRX. And no, I don't know what that stands for because I'm probably sure you guys are wondering at this point. Is there like an inside joke or something? Am I supposed to find this funny in some reason? No, you're not. But I do because I'm easily enthused and easily entertained like that. So let's go to Seattle and kick some butt with my Volkswagen Lupo. Don't worry. Soon we will be winning the Gran Turismo World Championship with a Renault Espace F1. <laughs> It's just too much fun to intentionally mispronounce every car in this game. This adds so much more fun. Such as the lot us over there. Funnily enough, that's how a lot of Brits pronounce it. Their accents. Okay, time to shut up and drive super serious mode. Totally missed a shift. Oh yeah, flat out on the streets of Seattle. Pretty sure this is like the race to Starbucks in the morning here. Only we need more cars that they drive in Seattle. I don't know, what, what do they drive in Seattle, honestly? I'm sure they're probably, well, maybe they are more hipster. Maybe there's not a race on the streets. Maybe it's on the sidewalks. I imagine there's a lot of segways in Seattle. There's gotta be. It seems like a very segway friendly place. Maybe. I, I honestly do not know. I'm just making stuff up at this point. To tell the truth. But uh, I think you guys kind of understood that at this point. That uh, I'm not being super serious here. Music man, it gets me pumped up. Makes me want to break it to 50. Oh, we we did not go very deep. Should not have broken at the 50. We, we should have gone to like the 25 or something like that. I thought it was being really, really gutsy, but instead I was just being a giant chicken. Now, see, this is really touring car racing, man. This is the good kind. I mean, the cars have two doors here. They have epic road holding. I mean, why would you want to watch a WTCC TCC race when you can watch a Volkswagen Lupo and a Honda Logo or whatever it's called duke it out on the streets of Seattle? Exactly. You wouldn't. Unless you're crazy. And I am going to lose this race if I do not pull off an epic maneuver here in the last two corners. Go Lupo! Go Lupo! No! I have been defeated! It stings, man. Alto works. No fair, he had factory support. <laughs> you guys get it? Works? factory. Thumbs up if you understood the joke. Thumbs up. Thumbs down if you laughed at that because it's really quite terrible, honestly. You should not have laughed at that. But alas, perfection is what we require. So we will... We will do that again. And I am going to win this race because I now know that you do not break at 50. Breaking at the 50 is the equivalent of being a giant chicken. There's one thing we're not. It's a chicken. Behind the wheel of a Volkswagen Lupo. I do not fear the Lupo. You know, I truly believe it's only in Gran Turismo that you understand how slow regular cars are. 
Zero to sixty in twelve seconds. Right there. For you metric system guys, that'd be uh, zero to a hundred. Twelve seconds. Pretty freaking slow. And it really feels like it. Real car, you go, whoa, that's that's slow, but you know, you get moving. That's a different meaning, you know, you're going sixty freaking miles an hour, man. That's that's fast. If you're driving down a two lane residential street, that is. <laughs> Always obey traffic laws, this statement is not intended to encourage people to do that. Uh, we accept no responsibility for those who do do sixty miles an hour down residential roads. Always obey traffic laws and wear your seatbelt at all times. Something like that. Okay, dude, I see I see your car flipping out in in my view here. You are asking for a war you cannot win. You are driving a beat. Beat, really. When I think of a beat, I think of a beat. It's like, is there like a Toyota turnip? Be a pretty cool car. Oh, nice dive bomb gone horribly wrong there, dude. There's so much horsepower in this pack right now. All breaking loose. Actually, if you think about that, that's not even equivalent to one NASCAR car. <laughs> you can strap them all together. Not, not a... Not even a Camping World Truck Series truck, okay? That was like a GP2 car at most, but it took six cars to get that same level of power. That doesn't blow your mind. Nothing will. Should we get a really good exit here? Put it on the wall because I don't want to repeat this race. Because that would make for a bad video. You guys don't want to see the same race three times over, do you? But you don't have to. Because victory is what I do. A Daihatsu Terios Kid. Beautiful. 